My father started with One Cow, um, where Big W is, um, supplying milk to the people in his street. And we grew from that to the point where um, he had the largest milk round in Bunbury that he was delivering door to door with horse and cart and then ultimately with cars and utes. Or just the rising costs. Um, you know, we, we are struggling to, to keep up with the rising costs of business. Um, we, we're not um, going to back down to the challenge because this is what we do. We'll just keep getting better at it. But it is a real conscious decision for our family now is do we invest any more in dairy? Um, yeah, physically I probably can't do any more, but mentally and with my experience we could do wonders in, in you know, other farms, other areas. But the question is why would you if you're not going to get the return? Oh, I'm, I'm a perpetual optimist who, you know, asks, you know, it's hard to me to get me down, but in the last 12 months I have been probably in the lowest point I've been for a long time because you, you really, you don't see, um, yeah, you really don't see the, the, the way out, I suppose, and, you know, we're committed. We, we made a commitment, 10 to 20 year commitment. Well, the trouble is um, what we sell, we don't get much more of a commitment than one or two years. So going forward, we need to be conscious that we are confident that we are going to get a return long term. And if people see that, a lot more people will want to do it. When I come home, we were milking 40 cows. Um, and yeah, today we, we're milking over 800 and, and run over 2,500 acres. Well, you know, that's all happened over time and a lot of hard work and a lot of risk. So for me, the challenge for our family is to, to get the balance from work and, and family, but ultimately have a, a business that is financially able to go to the next generation, which concerns me um, a lot where, where things are. My family drinks the milk that we produce. I don't buy milk. So my family won't drink a second-rate product. Um, so we produce, we're in A-grade milk um, probably 10, 11 months of the year with a large herd. And to be in A-grade in WA is the highest standards in Australasia. Not, no one will touch us. We live and breathe the, with these animals. You know, we help them deliver their calves. We help them when they're sick. You know, we, we take milk from them and milk is normally what a baby, their baby takes. So we feed them to produce more milk. But that, so the emotional connection is, is probably really hard for people to get an understanding. So that's, yeah, cows mean more to us than just a number. The decision um, with myself and Denise was, if we were gonna, you know, we borrowed over a million and a half dollars to do what we've done and um, if we didn't, her, her point to that is if we can't get out of this a better lifestyle, why are you doing it? If you're going to go and work twice as hard, which wasn't actually possible, um, why, why do it? Value the milk that you're going to feed your family um, because it's the milk that my family gets.